Welcome to the third video of the Simbly for Mobile tutorial series. Our goal of this video is to introduce the layout of a Simbly for Mobile application from a coding standpoint and to get a small user interface put together and upload it to the Simbly and then connect to the Simbly with our phone and see that user interface. So we're going to dive right in and uh, I'm going to lay out what this looks like. Actually, at the top here, I didn't put it in yet, but we need to include the Simbly, Simbly for Mobile library. Can't type very well. And that is going to basically be all that we need to do to bring all the functionality in for this. We need to, in the setup, which as you know from Arduino, that's the run once. Uh, function at the beginning and boot up and what we need to do here is we need to give our assembly a name so that we can identify it when we're looking at it in I spelled that wrong so when we're looking at it in the app it actually pops up with a name and to do that we do device name we assign that to whatever we want our name to be and in this case, we'll just call this our application. We also want to set up, I forgot I copied that. We also want to set up the advertisement data. Wow, I'm having a hard time typing today. No, still wrong. Still, there we go. Our advertisement data. And this is basically kind of like a subtitle. <laughs> so you've got your device name, which is going to pop up in your application. You're going to see that big. And then below that, it's going to be telling you what your advertisement data is. Now, this is, you can name it whatever you want. You can say its data is whatever you want. It's just something to be a little bit more descriptive than the name. And in this case, I think we're just going to go with something like UI. There's no data really being presented in a meaningful format, so we're just going to give it the, the title of UI. Oops. Now, the last thing we need to do in the setup loop is the assembly for mobile.begin. Just like um, when you need to start your serial, <laughs> which you don't need to do in 9600, just like when you need to start your uh, serial service. You do a begin or you know initialize your it's your first function it gets the everything rolling in the setup it's important that you do this last in the setup though that you need to establish the device name and the advertisement data before you go ahead and tell it to begin now the loop is actually kind of like a magic loop uh, the only thing we do here as far as creating our app goes is that we, we do assembly for mobile dot process and that function is doing all the it's handling all these callbacks um, it's it's basically doing the entire app interfacing between the assembly and your phone and there's nothing more that as the uh, program designer you need to do to make it update between your assembly between your phone and assembly just simply for mobile process it's like I said it's kind of magic of course it's not magic but as far as we care in this video, <laughs> it, that's all it is. Now the user interface, this is where things actually are created. And the first thing we want to do is we want to begin screen. And then we'll wrap it with an end screen. Now everything that we do in here between the begin screen and end screen is going to be our user interface. It's a one screen application at this point. Um, multiple screens is a much more advanced lesson and we'll get there. But right now we're just gonna do the one screen. And what do we wanna put on this screen? Uh, definitely some text, like some classic hello world text. So we do simply for mobile, draw text. And then we have to pass in the arguments to set up that text. So it's going to require an origin, you know, a point of origin. Where is that going to be on the screen? 
and we'll get to the coordinate system later, but right now we're just going to go with 100 and 100, and those are in pixels. So its x coordinate is 100, its y coordinate is 100, and that's starting from the top left. And then we want it to say, uh, welcome. That's, that's our text right there. That's all we really care for it to be at this point. We'll get into more advanced features with the text later. So right now we've got our screen, we've got text, and that's all. It's not even a user interface so much at this point. It's just a little screen that pops up and says, welcome. So we want to add something cool, something a little bit more dynamic, and uh, we'll go for a switch. Now you might be wondering what the switch is. You'll definitely recognize it when we get there, when we upload this thing. And the switch, minimum arguments, it just needs a point of origin, x and y. So I chose 100, 120, and basically what that means is it's going to draw the text at 100, 100, and then go right below that and put the switch. So they're going to be lined up, left justified together, to the uh, yeah, left justified, and uh, the switch will be below the text. At this point, we have created a user interface. It's very boring. It's very uh, crude. There's no styling really associated with it, but it's there. This last function here needed for a assembly for mobile application, UI event, is something that we will get to in subsequent videos. But right now, uh, you don't need to do anything with it. It's, it's just it's an empty loop. It's not even going to function, and it's not even going to get called. So at this point, um, we're going to verify our code here. All right, everything is done compiling. No warnings or errors, which is... Uh, always encouraging on your first time writing something. And uh, at this point, all we need to do is we need to upload it to the assembly. All right, uh, done uploading. We've got a big su success uh, text down here. So let's jump over to the camera and see what this looks like now that it's uploaded. Okay, so here we are uh, looking at the, the camera shot here of our phone and we're gonna open the assembly app right there. And immediately pops up with, uh, it says, uh, of the found assemblies, we've got one here. And its name is application, and it's advertising UI, just like we set with the device name and the advertisement data. So now we're going to open that. And there we go. We've got a screen that says welcome, and our switch here. And I said you'd recognize the, recognize the switch. It's just a little toggle guy goes back and forth. Um... I like that on the iPhone here, the switch is is basically such a it's a familiar element. It's exactly like what you would find in the settings menu on the iPhone. So very uh, visually appealing, and they're left justified, and uh, the switch is right below the text. So there is our first application. Next, we're going to move on to an event structure. So having that switch actually trigger something on the assembly.